Good evening, good evening. Welcome to episode 15. Let me turn this down a little bit here. All right. Well, you know what I have to do when Lahi plays in a house. <laughs> Even if it's my house. <laughs> I love that so much. All right. So, the plan tonight. Um, we have a few things that we have to do before we head off to the goblet. Um, ward four. We've made it to the fourth wards um, at this point. It's taken us, you know a lot of episodes of the show to get through four housing wards um, <laughs> because there's a lot of houses uh, you know and I, I have practiced my exercise in futility the last few days I've gone to the Aetherite in the major cities and looked at every single housing ward um, to see if anything was for sale and nothing nothing on this server not one plot for sale um so i don't know we'll see how it goes when they put the new housing in we'll see who manages to snag one and who ends up not being able to snag a plot um we'll see so the first thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna go visit one of our viewers um their house they we visited their house last episode and they watched the show and they watched some episodes and they got really inspired and they redecorated their entire house and sent me a message about it today. So we're going to go take a look at their house first. Um, and they are in the Lavender Beds 3 and they're plot 49. So they're in the subdivision. So we're going to go take a look at that house first. And then we have another house on here that um, we need to go visit that someone whispered me about um, that they had redecorated. So we're going to go there. And then we're going to go to the apartment building in Lavender Beds 3 because, um, well, you know, hmm. No, we'll do this first. It's fine. We'll do this first. Your house. <laughs> Welcome, Monty. Yes, we're going to your house. We're going to your house. Let's see here. We're going to go to the specified ward. We're going to go to plot 3. And here we go. I'm excited to see what you did. So we want to let me look at the map and figure out what the closest aetherite is first. So we're going to 49, which is up there. So we want to go to the Lavender Northwest subdivision. Lavender Northwest subdivision. There we go. Be here. We're going over this way. And here it is. Oh, yeah. The one with the. I love these walls so much. Oh my gosh. I can't wait until. We can't make them yet. We have to get stuff um, from our airship. Or not airship, from the. Uh, from our submarines to make the schematic in our. Uh, in our workshop before I can make these walls, but it's, it's on my list. I've been working on building the submarines. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go on and take a look. 
Let's go see what you've done in your house. Turn off my interface. Whoops. Ooh. I love these tables. I love these tables so much. I have them in my house too. <laughs> They're great. Pretty. Whoops. I like your little island. That is so cute. Oh, look. It's like a, it's like an eat in kitchen island. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm saving. I'm saving my money because I want to try. I'm going to try to get a medium house plot when they put in um, the the foundation you know imperium when they put it in i'm gonna try um and then if i don't get if i don't manage to get one then i'll spend my money but until then i'm not spending any money this looks great i like this i love these little the little table mats i think that they just that was a really good addition um to the game we needed something like that little lala lady is gonna cook some dinner she's so tiny i can teach you how to put her up on a stool so that she could stand on a footstool while she's at the uh, the oven. I actually have a video. One of my VODs shows how to do it. Very cute. Very cute tonberries. Let's go on downstairs. I love the new wood floors too. I just love these. It's, you know, they needed a nice neutral gray lore. This looks really nice. Crazy Tomberry lamps that'll stab you while you're sleeping. <laughs> Sleep with one eye open. I love the floor tiles too. Very cute. Your house looks very nice, Monty. Very nice. I love the new kitchen. I think it looks great. And it's still Tomberry themed. This looks real nice. I like it. It's simple and that is all, you know, this is all you need. Looks really good. I wish they would give us a better kitchen sink. <laughs> you know, I mean, all of the sinks that they give us don't have water. I mean, what's the deal with that? We have a bathroom sink with water. Why not a kitchen sink with water? There's, I have a list. <laughs> I have a list of things that I would love to have them put in game. All right. Very cool. Nice job. Your table looks nice too. And good floors. I have those in my apartment. I love them. And in my free company house too, because I love them. <laughs> All right, let's see. The next house we're going to go to is plot 54 of Mist 16. And um, this was someone's free company house. So let's see. We're going to go to Limsa. And we are going to go to Mist 16 and visit Plot 45 out in the subdivision. And I, I should have written down the person's name because now I don't remember. It's been some days. Let's see here. We're going to go to the specified ward. We're going to 16. So one of the things that I'm going to do is Saturday, um, this, this week coming up, I am going to, um, do a stream of, of, um, just some v -Roid studio stuff, some art stuff, um, for making avatars like, like my, um, like my girl, like my VTuber avatar. I made her um, in Vroid Studio. 
And so I'm just going to go through, uh, I'll spend a couple hours um, going through the basics of making your first avatar. So if you're interested in the, in making an avatar and you want to uh, work along with me, um, you know, we'll go through it step by step. You can download Vroid Studio on Steam for free. It's a free program. Um, so you can just install that and Saturday morning, um, we'll do it. We'll do it together. So let's see, we want to go to plot 45. And so that's going to be, I'm going to say it's going to be like, right. It's going to be here. So we want Miss Northeast subdivision. All right, so wait. Yep, 45. Where is it? I guess it's not there where I thought it would be. It's down here. Oh, it's down in the corner. Southeast, not northeast. Oh, well, we're riding. It's up in the corner. I like to ride on my sparkle dog. Oh, it's a big house. Look. All right. Oh, if this is your free company's house. Oh, hey, that's fine. No, this is fine. Excellent. This is Forsaken. And the owner is the bloody behemoths. And it's a free company house. We'll take a look in um, any rooms too. Free company rooms that are in there. Um, yeah, because that's what we do. <laughs> Welcome to Forsaken, where you can request the aid of the bloody behemoths for just about anything that is within reason. Okay. I will make a list of requests. <laughs> it's a tavern. It's a designer home and visitors are welcome. Let's go take a look. Let's take a look at the yard first. One of the privileges of being on my server and um, whispering me in game and telling me about your properties is that I'll put them on the list and I'll go visit them. <laughs> Especially if you show up in the channel and follow. I like these uh, that torches. They're blue. That's really different. <laughs> I like it. All right, let's go check it out. Let's go on in. Oh, yay, my auctions are selling. I'll still not be able to get a house, a bigger house. I'll be, be stuck in a cottage forever. Because <laughs> they just can't have enough housing. All right, let me get step back to the door here. I like the walls. That's the country walls. Which are very nice. Got a gargoyle here and a pool. We got some Allegan nodes here. Little place to sit and hang out. little kitchen with a gentleman who will serve you tea. There's the guest book. The crafting area. Adorable little Lala lady. She's keeping an eye on all the fabric to make sure that nobody takes too much. Very nice. Very nice little crafting area for everybody to get their buffs.
Let's go on upstairs. Oh, look at that mannequin. <laughs> We've got all the loot and a baby behemoth. Keeping an eye on it. Trophies of war. That's the bar. I like that little barrel table. Boy, that chandelier is just very dramatic at, at full size, you know? <laughs> they are all all of them when they're so when they're as big as they get in the very center of one of these huge houses they're just very striking he's got the doorway closed off there so maybe this is all a big room let's go down here and take a look it's the library and it looks great we've got the necrologos and there is the obligatory shrine to Horshafront must have one. Every house must have one. The map table. I like that map table. It's the boss's desk or the librarian's desk. Let's take a look at the fish in the tank. We always visit the fish. I think that's like a little salmon. He's very cute. What are you doing, Nana? <laughs> yeah, oh, these houses, the big houses are huge. They uh, they take a lot. They take a lot of work. What, I think you can put, what, 400 items in these things? It takes a while. It, I mean, it'll take a while to fill one of these houses with stuff. Ah, uh, we've got the the gold saucer started on. <laughs> Very good. I love the Marimo lamps too. They're just so pretty. Like a little cafe down here. Bar counters and bar stools. Oh, there's a door back there. Oh, it must be a passage. Some of the rooms are a little scarce because you ran out of... <laughs> yeah. Well, this looks good back here. Nice kitchen. This is a good idea to make an island out of... In this big space, you can uh, you can do a lot. And to make an island out of two of these southern kitchens, that's pretty cool. I don't think I've seen anybody do this before, and that looks nice. I see someone ate all the dodo. <laughs> Got the big bear rug, little cart counters. It's the pantry. It's the pantry shelf. I like that. That looks good. That's a good idea. And this must go to the bar. Yeah. It's the entry to the bar. Someone can work back here. Ah, and this is the, the, the wine cellar. Very cool. These house, the big houses really are huge, aren't they? I forget how big they are because there's just, you know, there's only so many of them. Um, there's way more smaller plots in every zone. So we visit f way fewer large plots than, um, than others. And I just forget how huge they, re they are really big. <laughs> nice job if I can help you in any way with crafting stuff <laughs> let me know let's see I'll sign the guest book
Love this house. The big plots are really a labor of love. Keep up the great work. Let me know when you re... when or if you remodel and we will revisit. There you go. Signed the guest book. Very good. Excellent, excellent. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do is we are actually going to go back to Lavender Beds 3 and we are going to visit um, the apartment building in the subdivision because we did not do that yet. So um, we're going to do that and then we'll start working on the goblet. Goblet 4. So we're going to go make a quick run through the apartment building. And... And then we'll be zooming off to Thanalyn. Let's see here. So we're going to go to go back to Lavender Beds 3. Whoops, wrong thing. Ethernet, residential district Ethernet. I hope that everyone is having a good night i hope that you're all having a good year so far we're only three days in i'm hoping that this year is better for everybody two more days and we'll have the heavens turn event starting up which will be nice so we're going to go to the lily hills subdivision and we're going to peek into some apartment rooms Hopefully we'll find some some good examples of, you know, making use of small spaces to make really nice living spaces because this is the this is the accessible housing in game. Sadly. <laughs> All right. Here we oops. I didn't say, say whose room this was. We'll have to we'll do that. This is apartment one. The owner is Grim near Val. Val Fodor. and there's no greeting or anything, but this is this is their room. It's just a you know cute little cute little room, cute little apartment room. They've got a bed, a desk, and some food. They've got their orchestrion. They've got a mannequin. They've got their retainers. You know, apartments are just a nice place if you if you don't want to like hang out in your free company house and you don't have a house. A, a small house of your own or anything like that. Apartments are great. They are a good place to go and get away from it all. The next apartment is the Frozen Namazus. <laughs> the owner is Grihari Nitor. It says, welcome, come in and have a drink or something to eat. It's a tavern and eatery and it has a message book. So let's go take a look at Grihari's room. It's a little tavern and there is tavern keeper got this very tall edgy looking guy and a super cute cat girl love those little those little christmas cakes those are so cute so let's go take a look behind here underneath the loft this is a nice little place to hang out and sit by the fire read a book so let's go on up the steps to the loft. Ah, and they've got little table and chairs up here on the loft. They had to float these all up here. And a bench there. Cute. They made quite a lot of extra space by putting those lofts up. Nice job. Let's check out the next apartment. Let's see. The next one is the Hobo House. <laughs> and the owner is Hungry Hungry Hobos. And the greeting is Wipe Your Feet. 
This is your apartment? Oh, hey. <laughs> well, I'm in your apartment. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I like this apartment. I think you did a nice job on this. Made it feel much bigger than just a single room using the lofts. And I like that lamp. They have a nice warm light. Nice job. Oh, wait, you have a guest book. I didn't see that there. I have to sign your guest book. I like the cozy little room behind the bar, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I've been I've been going through this this word. We're going just going through the apartment building to finish up and uh, then we're off to the goblet. We finally have made it to Ward 4. <laughs> we're on to the Ward 4s um, this week. It's taken a long time. I mean, it's taken like it's taken months to get through just the first three um, wards of all the housing districts and when they add in another housing district, I'm going to have to like go through all of those to catch up. But I'll have to give people a little bit of time. Yeah, the floating. Um, I can do a video. I can do a video um, on that. Maybe next week I'll have I'll do a build it video. I need because I'm going to be pulling apart my free company room anyways, because um, it's a Christmas room right now and it's only a Christmas room for two more days. And then I'm going to pull it apart. And so um, when I do, I'll do a build it video. And we'll do some floating. And we'll talk about how to float different kinds of items. Um, I'm not the greatest at it. I know there are people out there who are really good at it. Because um, there are ways to like, you know, float stages. You know, um, like, <laughs> like the big troop stages. You can float those using pieces of furniture. Like you put tables underneath it and progressively like taller tables underneath it <laughs> until you get it to start going up and then you can use lofts I think um it's a little it's a complicated process <laughs> I'll look up some resources for everybody too all right let's go to the next apartment the next apartment is oh yep hungry hungry hobo's room It looks like they're they need they're in the process they're in the process of decorating here and they have got all their books moved in but they need to go to ikea <laughs> they need to go to ikea and get some flat pack bookshelves but you know uh, we've been trying to get a billy shelf from ikea and they just don't have any they're all sold out let's go to the next apartment Next room is the Gloam. The owner is Saomi Lelui. And it says, once again, welcome to my house. Come freely, go safely, and leave something of the happiness you bring. Well, that's a nice greeting. It's a spooky house. It's like a little haunted house. Everyone's favorite dynamic duo. I can't wait for the new Hildebrand quests. Those are always my favorite quests. Got our Halloween pumpkin pudding. Oh, it looks so vile. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't eat it. I'd be careful. Someone's been sleeping in there a lot. Was you in the coffin? <laughs> bathtub cute little room all decorated for the nightmare before Christmas 
Let's go to the next room. Let's see, the next apartment is... Apartment 8, the owner is Aromel Bean Beanhage. So let's see if they've decorated their room. There's no greeting or anything. So they may or may not have. It looks like they got a start on it. They've got some mannequins all dressed up in the corner. Let's check out their gear. Let's see what they've got for sale. Oh, this is... Oh, you can't see what they have for sale. You can only see what they have displayed. That's cool, though. So if you want to know what the item is, you can look. What is that? Oh, that's Phlegathon's cuirass. <laughs> look at the little bard. In the machine. Or that's a machinist. Little machinist. Very cute. Oh, all he's got is his mannequins and a verdant partition. <laughs> Let's check out the next apartment. Lala Pride. Yes. You know, I used to be a Lala. I was a Lala when the, I first started playing long, long, long time ago. And, um, and then I changed to Cat Girl. And then I was Lala again. And then I was Cat Girl again. And then I was a bunny for a while. And then I changed back to Cat Girl. But now my son and his. Oh yeah. That's true. I did. I had. I have some very brief periods of like Highlander, Midlander, and Aura, in between all of those. I've used a lot of Fantasias over the years. <laughs> I can't help it. But now my my son and his wife have started playing um, with us in our free company. And and they're both Lollafells and they're so cute. And it makes me I'm having like serious I'm seriously questioning my final fantasy identity. <laughs> All right. So the next apartment, let's see, we were here. The next one apartment is the looking glass and the owner is Kaylee Whiskers. And it's a designer home. It's under renovation and visitors are welcome. So we'll take a look. We will keep in mind that it is under renovation as we take a look at it. It's completely empty. It's under renovation. We'll come back. If anyone knows Kaylee Whiskers, um, tell her to let me know when she's done and I'll come and, and look at it again. Let's see. The next room is apartment 10. Arc Leo owns it. And it says, ignore the dark obscurity next door. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what that means, but we'll see. There's nothing in here either. It's another empty room. Let's go to the next apartment. The, and this one is the coolest room and the owner is Vongola Risotto and they say they ain't buying anything. I wonder if it's another empty room. We'll see. Nope, they've put stuff in here. They've got a lot of books. They've got a few things. They've got fish. Poor lonely little fish. I hope that he comes to visit the fish. Let's go to the next apartment. Apartment 13 is owner is Rhea Black Moon and it says keep clean. So let's go on and check Rhea's room. They've got down this nice uh, tatami floor mat. It's just a tub. This is their bath. This is where they come to take a bath. And look at their fish. Little angel fish. I think that's actually a coral butterfly. Let's check out the next apartment. Let's see. We are at here. So the next room is apartment 14 and the owner is Eulala Black Moon. 
Let's see what Eulala Black Moon's room looks like. They've got the giant Emperor's Throne here. You can sit and survey whatever is happening at that table. You know, maybe this is like where a dad allows his, his teenage daughter to have dates, right? So he sits up here and the daughter and, and their date, you know, have to sit there at that table. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? I, I could come up with all kinds of little stories about what happens in this room. Carbuncle bed. All right. Well, on to the next floor. Let's see what's happening on the second floor of the apartment building. Apartment 16 is owned by Merrick Servals. No greeting. Oh, empty room. My goodness, what's going on in this building? Garlic Bread's room isn't open. This is the Strife residence and the owner is Aerith Strife. And it just says welcome. So let's go take a look at Aerith Strife's room. Well, they have decorated their room. Oh my gosh, look. Nothing suspicious at all in this apartment. What's that smell? <laughs> Hello, little fishy guys. little pastry shelf nice stove oh look they've got the little chef's play set I love this table and chairs very pretty nice color too look at the little Lala behind the behind the lockbox you can't even see her there she's just hanging out cute little living room with a Moogle couch and a fireplace and a level checker. I guess that's the TV. That's an old, this is like, you know, one of the old style TVs that they had back in the 60s. It's only black and white. Let's see what's in here. Bedroom. At least the alarm clock isn't going off all day long. <laughs> Very cute. Cute room, Aerith Strife. No guest book. We'll move on. Don't tell Zach. <laughs> All right, let's see. We are in this room. So the next room is the Witch's Den. The owner is Mythic Haze, and it's the tag is um, our message book, Visitors Welcome in Haunted House, and it's Greeting is, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. So this is a Harry Potter fan's room. Let's go on in Mythic's room. Mm. It looks like it is a work in progress. They have a start. That cat couch. Horshafront in the corner. They've got their priorities straight. Horshafront goes up first. They've got their books unpacked. They also need to get to Ikea. You know, it's been hard with COVID. My mother-in-law and father-in-law ordered a bedroom set last year. Like, they ordered it in, I think, like, December or January of 2021. And they didn't get it until, I want to say June it didn't come until like June. It was like six months they were without a bedroom set. Let's go to the next apartment. So we are in Mythic Hayes' room. The next room is apartment 23. The owner is Vaughn Whiskers and it says fish food foliage. What more can you want? It's a garden message book and visitors are welcome. So let's go on and check it out. They've got verdant partitions and some rose trellises up, and they've got a little picnic going on here. This is cute. Oh, 
But the Namazus have found their spot. <laughs> oh, look, they've got this. They got the Major General in here, too. Very cute. Just a nice little place to come have a picnic. Oh, and look at this. I love this food item. It's got little Spriggan cookies and ginger cookies and little waffles. I wonder if those are Stroop waffles. If you've never had a Stroop waffle, you should have a Stroop waffle before you die. Make sure you look for them. They're just like little waffle cookies, like with caramel in the middle. I think they're from the Netherlands. I had a friend who was Dutch and she gave me some once and I have been addicted ever since because <laughs> they're so good. Oh, we're the first ones to leave a message. Love this little pic picnic spot. Very peaceful. <laughs> yeah oh yeah yeah and you know the thing there are lots of there are, there's another big show that does housing stuff and they tour houses too but they only go into specific houses and you have to apply you know to get on their show and the houses they show are very beautiful but they're like very difficult designs to do like the average person wouldn't be able to do them and if you you know, don't have lots of money or lots of time or a big enough space with a, you know, like a medium plot for a lot of them is almost a requisite so that you can, you know, float stuff from the basement up or whatever. Um, but go by just going through normal everyday folks' houses, we have found tons and tons of really creative things that people have done that we wouldn't have ever learned about watching the other show, you know? Um, so that's why I go into every house. I go into every room in the apartment buildings, you know, um, cause you know, we just kind of want to see what everyone's up to and, and just, you know, try to spread a little positivity. <laughs> I enjoyed my visit to this room live streamed at twitch.tv slash cat miss evergreens come join us i always like to make sure i try to i try to invite people to come not just because i want more followers but just because i think it's more fun <laughs> more fun to have more people along I mean, I'm, I'm not making any money really doing this. I mean, I, I have a few subscribers and I wouldn't say no to more subscribers, but I have not gotten a payout from Twitch yet because I have not accumulated $100 of revenue yet. <laughs> so I just do this because it's fun mostly and because I love the housing. Let's see. So we are in Vaughn Whiskers. So the next room is Raven's Place. The owner is Raven Koneko, and the t greeting is welcome, come in, relax, and be merry. And it's visitors welcome. It's a concert hall, and they have a message book. So let's go check out Raven's Place. Ooh, look at this. Here you go. Here is some inspiration for your apartment building, apartment and free company rooms, because they're both the same size. You can do this in, in you know, either one. Um, they've built this cute little concert hall. Look at their table. I have, I have some fluffy pancakes in my house. There's the terrifying, death-defying snowman in the beef stew. Yeah, the snowman in the beef stew. He's just like slowly melting into the hot beef stew. While you eat, you watch, you're like watching him. He's like screaming. Look at his face. He's like screaming. <laughs> My husband thinks I'm a little crazy. 
little snowman. That little snowman, the little glowing snowman, you can use that as a light in your kitchens. You just, you know, stick him up in the cabinet um, with just his butt hanging out the bottom. And it's the perfect little surface light. <laughs> now they've used the Amarat wall sconces here to make that lighting effect on the ceiling all around, which looks really nice. I like the way they've, they've centered it in the, in the wallpaper and made use of the design on the wallpaper to add an extra design element to this room, which is a very good idea. Got a display case there and this little open bookshelf. There's their guest book. There's something sparkling behind this wall. We'll find out what it is. There's their, their little stage for the concert hall with two Christmas trees and the heavenly ornaments, which are really pretty. Still got their Christmas stuff up too. Here's a little bedroom. More wall sconces and just a little feather bed. And oh, it's plants that are sparkling behind the wall. Cute little bedroom. Very cute. Okay, so the next thing is up. Up to the top of the loft. So on one side of the loft, they've got the tub and they've got the towels. Those are items from PVP. You buy those from the wolf's den. Yeah, it's like Christmas lights. And I love that, um, that chandelier. So pretty. And here's the other side of their loft is just, you know, a couple couches and a little rug where you can sit up here and watch the show. How pretty. Oh, and look, you see the light effects? You know what that is? That is miniature gold saucers behind the wall. I bet you. Let's go look. We're going to push our we're going to push our way behind this stage panel and we're going to find out if there are miniature gold saucers back here. Ah. Go, go, go. Might have to get into a corner. There we go. Yep, look. <laughs> there you go. There's your lighting effect on the front of the stage panel. It's from these miniature gold saucers stuck back behind it. So it just gives that little waving kind of searchlight little thing. Very cool. So there's an apartment. <laughs> it's a small room, but there's a lot going on in this little room. Awesome. Love this apartment. The stage is so creative. Really well done. Awesome. So this was Raven's place. So on we go upwards. I will have to end the stream no later than 10 o'clock tonight. Tomorrow is my husband has to go back to to school um, tomorrow. He works as a substitute teacher. And so tomorrow is the first day back after the holidays and we got to get up really early, <laughs> like, you know, six o'clock or earlier to get him off to school on time. So I can't stay up super late tonight. Let's see. We are here. So we are going to go to apartment 27 the owner is uka Ar arathnu and says we are open again come chill and hang out all right let's go check out uka's room cute little room little moogle shelf sylph table and chairs there's their desk i love the mushroom lamp it's like a little mossy ball with just a glowing mushroom growing out of it, you know? It's phosphorescent fungus. 
little kitchen, a bunch of cheese, very large cake in the middle of the, the living room. <laughs> the Eternity cake is really quite cool though. I've seen pictures of a couple in Japan that got married and had a cake made that was like that cake. And it was pretty crazy. Right, let's go in the little door here first before we go up into the loft. Bedroom. Little pile of plushies. Moogle bed, which is super cute. I love the Moogle bed and I love the little mushroom stools. They're super cute. A folded futon in the corner for guests. Oh, looks like they're working on the loft. We've just got a couple little things up here. You know, I know you can float things onto lofts, but you shouldn't have to. <laughs> we shouldn't have to do that. They should just make it so you can put things on lofts. Or make more things that go on lofts. You know, that, that makes sense as furnishings that would be on a loft. Like a bed that could go on a loft. I know, I know. And you're not the only one. We should make a petition. <laughs> Give us things that go on lofts, please. All right, let's go to the next apartment. We are in Uka's room. So we are RA's second man cave. And the owner is Rakoha Aket. And the greeting is you're safe here. It's a designer home. Visitors welcome. And it's an immersive experience. So let's go check out Rakoha's room. Oh, wow, look. Look at this place. Cute little entryway. He floated a book that that shelf up over the top of the fish tank there to make it like a built in um, entertainment center. You tried to make a drop ceiling today, but you can't cover the lamp. It's very frustrating. Yeah. Yep, I know, I know. <laughs> this looks cute though, the way they've done this. This looks very cute. Nice little kitchen. It's just a bar counter and they floated the, that little, um, the brick counter up to make it like a cabinet. And we've got a Biz the Bismarck sandwich and some coffee and a little Glade tea set. I like the colors they've used. This is super cute. Nice little sitting area here with a chair. Nice bright windows and pretty painting. Let's go up in their loft. So the loft is the bathroom. A little sink and a carbuncle tub. Another pretty window and some tile work. And then they have another loft over here. And unfortunately, the bookshelf is not very smooth for use as stairs anymore. So they've got, they floated this little wool rug up here and a chair and the big bookshelf and this um, alcove bed. Nope, and you cannot jump above it. Sometimes when people do this, you can actually, you can make an elevator in the middle of your alcove bed um, that will fly you up outside the bounding box of the apartment or the house. And you can build up there too. I've seen people do it. This looks very nice. Very nice. Here's another little room over here too. Little living room. Cute apartment. Nice job. 
I don't see a guest book anywhere, though. Nope. No guest book. Super cute. Whoops. Let's go to the next apartment. Let's see. So we are... And this one. So the next room is apartment 29. The owner is Aria Swiftheart. And there's no greeting. We'll see if she's decorated her apartment. Nope. Just a cake in the corner. Work in progress. Whoops. Wait, we have one more here. So that was Aria Swiftheart's room. This is Aria Swiftheart's room. The next one is Evelyn Swiftheart's room. And it is Azalera. And a hangout room for the members of Blizzard's Bane. It's a tavern. Visitors are welcome. And they have a message book. So let's go take a look. Whoa, check out this apartment. Here's another one that's been super decorated. So we've got little back bar there. And I'm not sure which counter this is. It's one of the, like the glade counter, I think, or the manor counter. Leather couch and an oriental table. A bathtub. I like the color they've used on the walls with this um, chandelier. Very nice. They've used the marble alcove beds as booths in their tavern with, um, I'm not sure which table this is. I would have to look. This is one you can buy from the, from the vendor. It might just be the Riviera dining table. They've just put a different painting in each one. There's their guest book. And they have a little loft here. Go on up these janky, the janky bookshelf that used to work really nicely and now is not. Hmm. Well, that's a hanging benches, but I'm not sure why they're there. Cute little sitting area up here. Looks nice. Little conversation pit. Yeah, that is very creative. That looks nice. This all looks very nice, real pretty. And then there's a little stage down here where, you know, you can have someone come and sing in front of, of uh, Nanamo and Raban. <laughs> very cute, very cute apartment. I like it. What a classy joint <laughs> this is such a lovely apartment and what a creative use of alcove beds nice i like it all right onward we go let's go to the next apartment on the list i think we're on the next floor Yes, because this we are currently in that room. So, yeah, we only have really one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12, 13 more apartments in this building. Apartment 31's owner is Angora Cerebrus. No greeting. We'll see if they've decorated. Looks like they have got a start on decorating but they're working on it they have good taste in tables I love this thing don't ask me why I can't tell you but I just do I just love the tree stump table I've seen people do some really cool things with it all right let's go to the next apartment It's a loft in gray. The owner is Faye Siren Song, and it says, please wipe your feet before entering, and it's a designer home. All right, let's go check out Faye's room. All right. The loft in gray. Nice. 
There's just a little bench and an orange tree and some nice paintings. And they've done everything in some neutral gray floor and walls. It's the alpine floor and I can't remember what the which wall that is. I would have to look it up. Just got a nice little table back here, the <clears throat> the Lakeland table and chairs, which are very nice. Those are craftable. Manor couch and chairs, oriental table, and I think that's the Alpine tea set. Oasis cabinet. They've got a couple antique sinks here, and they use the ale tap to make it look like it has a spigot. They've got the Crystarium umbrella stand and dyed it purple to match with the, the furniture there. Let's go on up in the loft. There's a bookshelf up here and that's a Glade stall with some papers on it. A little painting stuck in the corner. Tonberry bed. I can't remember which cabinet that is, which wardrobe that is. That might be the Oasis one. Nice, nice little bathroom up here. Oh, I like the way they did that. They've got the little, the uh, small imitation window. <laughs> nice, very nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Cute apartment. Nicely done. Oh, and I like how they've used the um, the Marimo lamps like chandeliers. They just kind of stuck them up there, you know, just put them on a shelf on a stage panel and uh, turn off counter placement and take the stage panel and shelf away. And they'll stay there. No floating required. It's just a, a quick and easy. If it's a tabletop item, you can just make it float in the air. It's pretty easy. All right. Let's go to the next apartment. Wait, did they have a guest book? I didn't see one. Nope. No guest book. Lovely apartment, though. Let's go to the next apartment. <clears throat> so this one is Faye's Siren Songs. The next one room is silver's apartment the owner is brandon silver and it says welcome to my apartment i'm happy to have finally have a home <clears throat> you know and the reason that i go through these apartment buildings like this is because just for that very reason there are a lot of new players to final fantasy right now and their prospects of actually getting a house is pretty slim but there is plenty of apartment rooms there are plenty of apartment rooms for everyone and they can get an apartment room and they can get a free company room and they can do something with that and so i like to let people see what you can do with it with a small space it's like a challenge challenge yourself to decorate a small space it's fun it's really quite fun let's see so the next apartment is airbnb sucks at gosh <laughs> the owner is zandriana acrolane and it says a place to relax after work for me and my co-workers okay so let's go to zandriana's room oops let's go here uh it looks like it might be it's a work in progress zandriana is not quite done So let's go to the next apartment. And the next one is Zilla's apartment. Zilia's apartment. Owner is Zilia Vield. Um, yes, I have I have walked in on people in their houses, and most like 99.9% .9 of the time they're glad that I'm there and show me around the house and come to watch the video and follow the channel um, I've only ever had it one occasion where I walked into a house and I guess you know a bard was in the living room 
um, practicing his performance and people were busy and they asked me to leave <laughs> so I did <laughs> but um, you know the vast majority uh, that's only ever happened once in all of the houses that I visited and I've been doing this for months now you know going through houses for months in a row and only have ever had one one incident like that and they were nice about it and said come back when you know at another time they just weren't expecting visitors <laughs> let's see so we are in Z no we're going to Zilli zillia's room that's right we're going to zillia's room zillia is working on her decorating it's not done yet she's got these girls really working hard on these books but once again you know, the Ikea must be sold out of bookshelves in this area as well. That's all I can say. Because nobody seems to have any bookshelves for all the books on the floor. Let's go to the next apartment. Apartment 38 is owned by Baked Potato. <laughs> Visitors welcome. It's under renovation and it's a cafe. So let's go see what Baked Potato's room looks like. Do you want to bet that Baked Potato is a Lollafell? They've started decorating. Not done yet. Let's go to the next apartment. So, apartment 40 is owned by Samuel Kanan. No greeting. We'll see if they've, if Samuel's, Sam, Sam, Samuel, I'm not sure how you say it. They have decorated their room. They've used this nice storm blue wall, which is a nice item. Um, that's, I've got to use it. I've got to use it like that and the uh, the Yulemore wall and the white unfinished wall. Those are like the only, you know, solid color walls you can get. Well, you can get the gold leaf wall too now, which is pretty nice. Cute room. You just have some nice items set up in here. It's an open floor plan. No lofts, no partitions, just just things kind of separated by bookshelves or by the, like the display case. Look, they've got a Mikote chair. Specially made for cats. All right, let's go to the next apartment. So the next room is Ridley's Observatory. The owner is Ridley Talrin. And the greeting is chart the stars, let the heavens guide us. Visitors are welcome and it's a library. So let's go check out Ridley's room. We're almost done in this apartment building now. There's only like five more rooms to visit. Check it out. Look at this. <gasps> awesome. library and an observatory just a little dark room but they've got the starry wall and they've got the the little astroscope over here there's their star globe and all of their little maps so they'll know what they're looking at this is very cute I love it very well done. No guest book. Oh well. And I love that lantern. I've got to make one of those. Love it. Let's go to the next apartment. So we are in Ridley's room. So we've got four more apartments to visit. This is Cece's apartment. The owner is Cecilia Sharoni. It says come in even though it's small. We will. We like small spaces. We like small houses. Cool. Pretty daisies. Those are some cosmos daisies. Open floor plan room. All right, let's go to the next apartment. 
<clears throat> we're almost done here and then we'll go off to the to the goblet and visit a few houses in the goblet wait we're still here so the next room is apartment 43 the owner is harlow lilith and the greeting is come in <laughs> the the that's a little sinister i don't know let's find out let's find out what they're laughing about as we go into their room this looks pretty nice check it out unfinished wood flooring and mason work wall got the great google library lamp and some leather couches <clears throat> hang and sitting table got that cool poster the elements little potted spider plant mahogany partition that you can buy from the from the housing vendor <clears throat> macaron cushion in front of this the mason work stove there harsha front there's their guest book another fireplace they've got two fireplaces in here this place must be toasty let's check out back here whoa got the vortex couch 11 orb there's all kinds of particle effects going on in here it'd be hard to sleep with all this pretty sure that the 11 orb makes a crackling sound if you have the ambient sounds turned on you're still mourning you can't put his picture up oh no <laughs> did you just recently finish heaven's word or is it an extended mourning period cute room very cute room <laughs> the sad part oh, oh dear well you have my condolences we're all s still sad there's so much to be sad about but then there's also so much to be happy about <laughs> let's see so we are in harlow's room so the next one is apartment 44. The owner is Enwa Rippentrop. So let's go check out Enwa Rippentrop's room. It's a work in progress. They've got some candelabras. You're a scholar and you could have cast a barrier. Oh no, I play white mage and yeah. I understand why can't I why can't I res him I can res everybody else you know what is going on here why can't I res my friends I don't because get you only can use res on mostly dead people instead of all the way dead people. oh that's my husband makes a good point he says you can only use res on people who are mostly dead not all the way dead sad all right let's go to the last room this is apartment 46 the owner is panini wrap <laughs> no greeting it's the manor it's hawk manor they've got a manor theme started they're working on it it would take a while to get enough fine wax to make every piece of of hawk manor furniture but i like the walls and the floor looks good it's very red all right so we are off to the goblet off we go we're gonna go to the goblet ward four yay we have broken out of the threes and we are into the fours now <laughs> I will I would never ever in my like even if I live to be a hundred years old I would probably never be able to visit every house in this game <laughs> I mean it, it might even be a stretch to visit every house in our data center I can't even imagine I mean it's taken me months to get through the first three wards let's see here so we're gonna go to the residential district Ethernet we're gonna go to the specified ward and we are going to four Yes, we want to go. 
It only works on warriors of light. Oh, that may be, that may be the case. I love the, uh, the heavens turn decorations. They're so pretty. And here we are in the goblet. Everyone's least favorite housing zone. And I actually really like the goblet. I think it's quite pretty. All right, so let's see, where is plot one? It is right up here and to the right. All right, so before we go into the first house, I am, yeah, it is. It's real pretty when it's lit up for the holidays. I love the, I love the little Moogle, um, the Moogle kites and the little Chocobo kites. They're so cute. Makes me want to craft one, <laughs> to make one, a real one. Lie it. So I think that this is plot one. Yeah, this is plot one right here. But I am going to take a break for just a few minutes um, to get a drink and to run to the restroom. And I will be right back. Um, and in the meantime, I have a little, I have a little video for um, intermission set up. Be right back. And why not? Why not? I'm just trying to spread some some happiness out here in the world <laughs> by being nosy. <laughs> See, where are we? I wonder if we can go down here to 26. We were in that one already. We were here, right? No, we won't. We weren't here. <laughs> so this is a uh, new home. Owner is Karen. Is it Karen? This is Karen's house. Please don't tell anyone how I live. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I play too much. <laughs> I play far too much. I probably should have been doing other things <laughs> when I got that. This is Kylo Ren's sister. Maybe so. Let's see what's going on inside Karen's house. Oh, there's nothing in here. Oh, except for this. Just the big beaver burger. Poor Karen. It's no wonder she's complaining at the Costco. You know? <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> that was wrong. That was wrong of me. I shouldn't have done that. All right. Well, we'll have to find another one to go to. Because there's nothing to see here. Move along. <laughs> Shiragane, let's take a look around here before we start breaking and entering. Um, it's a really pretty housing district. It's beautiful. They have a beach. It's not quite as nice a beach as Mist. I mean, you can go swimming here. You can swim out. I don't know how far out you can swim. Let's find out. I haven't done this before. It's weeaboo mist. <laughs> oh, you can't swim very far. You get stuck right here. So that's about as far as you can go. Um, so yeah, you can't swim out very far, but it's pretty. They've got boats. They've got a little dock here. They've got, you know, some, some kind of stuff going on. It's pretty. Everything's, you know, very much in the Japanese style here. It's it's very beautiful. Um, look at that. We'll have to check out that uh, Kugane Castle. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Oh, look, they've got a little place here where you can come on the beach to hang out if you want to. Come down here and have a party with your friends.
Check out that guy's speedo. Whoa. Why is there light shining there in that spot? That's a little strange, I gotta say. Pretty higher girl. She looks like she would just love to get away from this guy. Look at her face. I can I can hear what's in her head. It's like, oh my god. If this guy mansplains one more thing to me, look at him, he won't stop. He just keeps talking and gesticulating and waving his arms. He's been doing this for three years now. <laughs> Poor thing. I'll pray for you, honey. So that's a, there's a lot of housing in this game. There's a lot. There's a lot of material for me to continue looking at people's places. I could do this for the rest of my life and probably never see everyone's house. That's sad. That makes me sad. I want to see everyone's house. All right, I'm back. And let me make sure the captions are working. There we go. And here we are at plot one in ward four of the goblet. Let's see where we're at. This is a private estate for one of the owner's big bicep and Bertha. No greeting. So we'll see what's going on here. It looks like they've decorated their yard. So good chance that they've decorated inside too. A little picnic basket underneath this wisteria tree. That's super cute. Hingen hot spring and a Toro lantern. They've got the planting shelf here, which is super cute. I love that. The little garden shelf. Nice item they added in. I like the way they did this with their garden walls. They kind of stuck them up against the house so that, you know, the back part of the brick is inside the house. That looks nice. Little deck. And a little florist shelf here. Cute. Let's check out what they've got going on inside. You know what? I want to adjust something on my chat window. Let's see. Let's clear the chat. Um... I want to I want the chat to not stay forever up on the oh wait I know what it is I know what it is <clears throat> this <clears throat> I need to fix this so that it doesn't stay here forever because I think it obstructs the view of the house so let's change that let's fix it there we go. And we'll just use the clean. There we go. All right. Less things in the way of, uh, of the view of the houses. All right. Here we are. And this house looks awesome. <laughs> they have big birth, big bicep Bertha has uh, decorated their house really nicely. Check out Namazu's on the counter. I believe that's a verdant shelf partition that they put there. And so I bet there's a, yep, I see it upstairs. This looks cute. The house four temps couch with those pretty lilies on it. Verdant partitions. Got this spiral staircase. Let's go on up. Well, we're like right up in the chandelier there. They've got a piano up here. I've heard that the piano is. Oh, no, you're. No, it's fine. It's fine for you to chat. I just don't want the chat to stay on the screen forever. <laughs> I had that set up from something else from a different game I was playing. From when I was playing. Um, I was playing near near replicant. I have to get back to that eventually. 
chatting is certainly fine and allowed and not too much. This spiral staircase is more difficult to make use of than it looks like. You know, um, if you try to use it with lofts, you have to like, see what they did. They used those planters to make a little walkway from the top step over to the, to the stage they floated. Because otherwise you hit your head off of things and you can't get all the way up. When I had it up, I used um, floor mats, flooring mats floated up because they were thin. Um, if I tried to put it up against the loft, you would hit your head on it and not be able to go to the top of the stairs. So just another one of those items they put in that's problematic, that is less useful than it looks like it would be. Oh, look. Big Biceps Bertha's cousin, Merle Wib. There's their guest book. Let's check out their downstairs. Just got a little lily lamp and a picture of, of, uh, I think it's just Ilmeg there. Oh, they've got papaya on the radio. <laughs> All right, let's check out this room. Oh, this looks nice too. Here's their little kitchen. They just got the little southern kitchen there and little table skylights paisa swing chairs little doubt lady or dowager's tea set it's a really cute tea set indoor garden we're using the phasmascape as a big screen tv here in the living room enough seats for your whole family and all of your friends to come over and watch the Azim Step um, soap opera. My favorite episode is the one where Ishtola tells little son that she's not interested in to come back when he's a man. <laughs> I like the wall there. The little... Riviera wall shelf and some flowers and stuff on it. Nice, nice little cottage here. They did a nice job. All right, there's their guest book. Let's sign their guest book. Love this house. The downstairs is fantastic. Love the TV and conversation pit. <laughs> or well, actually, I guess that's a and it's the sectional. In the living room. All right, off we go to the next house. Well, first house in the goblet. It's pretty nice, pretty nice house. You know, one of the things I've noticed is that when when you have a bunch of nice houses clustered together, I, I think that they tend to like, people tend to encourage their neighbors to decorate. You know, like people will see their neighbors decorating and then they'll decorate too. <laughs> so you end up having like clusters of houses that are all really nice so let's see here we are at one we're gonna two is not open so we're gonna go around about and get to plot three i think we have to go like all the way up and around and I would go out of order, but if I do, then I'll get lost where I, like, which house I've been to. All right, so plot three is this one right here. This little carbuncle cottage. <clears throat> I 
Let's see. This is Ms. DJ's home. The owner is Ms. DJ. And it is the third plot. There's no greeting or anything. Um, but we'll take a look to see what Ms. DJ has done. That's Ms. DJ's retainer. Got her Christmas tree up. Got a fountain in the yard. Look at that cafe walls across the way there. Let's see. Here we are. Whoops. They've got the art from the Mog Station. Blue Moon Phasmoscape. Christmas tree up. Looks like this might still be a work in progress. Yeah, there's lots of empty space here still. They are working on it. Work in progress. Let's go on to the next house. All right, so we were at plot three and we are gonna go back around this way to plot four. I'm just kind of gonna run up here and run through plot five's yard to get to plot four, I think. Oh wait, I just go around this way. Is it down? It must be. It must be down here. I question the way they've got these things numbered and laid out sometimes. Yeah, this is four. Here we are. Number four. This is Hippie's Lala Club. <laughs> All right. The owner is Hippira Von Horrificus. And it says, welcome to my home. Feel free to stay and hang out a while. All are welcome, especially my fellow Lala Felon friends. Clothes are optional for Lala's. Oh, dear. I hope we don't run into any naked Lala's inside. It's a designer home. It has a message book and it's an RP immersive experience. Full of naked Lala Fells. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at the retainers in the yard. Look at them. Uh, uh, that is adorable. There they are. With their little little Moogle hats on. They just made the snowman. Who's going to go swimming in this pool in this weather? Not me. Cute. This is adorable. These two. Look at them. Look how cute they are. Very cute. All right. So let's go on inside. Let's see what's going on inside this this Lala extravaganza. Let me back up to the door here. Whoa. Well, there's Nanamo. So our Chihuahua's name is Nanamo. She's adorable and tiny, and she's also the boss. Very nice. Here's a couple of Lala's right here. They're, they're, they're clothed so far. There's the guest book. This little library. Here's their entryway. Nice. They just stuck that big elephant back there to fill in that hole. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, look. Look. It's Santa. Or the Saint of Nymea. It's the Saint of Nymea. 
and a bunch of little snowmen and couch cushions around a sheep rug christmas tree there's presents they ate all the donuts they ate all the starlight donuts out of that basket little fish tanks around that's super cute I'm going to take a screenshot of that. <laughs> That's so, so adorable. And here's the other side of the room. They've got uh, more fish tanks to mirror the ones on the other side. And they've got their little table set up with a little Christmas tree on it and lots of delicious food. Curry rice from, I believe, 2018. Heaven's turn. <laughs> stays uh stays good forever as long as you don't eat it all i wouldn't eat it now if i were you i'd just let it sit there steaming for all eternity look at they did um the mammoths they dyed them in rainbow colors red orange yellow green blue indigo violet rainbow mammoths on the counter or on the uh the mantelpiece this is adorable Super cute house so far. Oh, look, they stuck two Christmas trees together to make that look like a snowy tree. Oh, this upstairs is so nice. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Look. I'm so glad they left up their Christmas decorations and we got here to see them before they took them down. This is amazing. Step up to the tub for the Lala's. Lala sized, sh look at it. it's a Lala sized bathroom sink counter. That's super cute. Love it. What a nice idea. There's the starlight donuts that haven't been eaten. The white one is a Moogle donut. Check it out. See his little ears and his little nose and eyes. Super cute. <laughs> I know I say that too much. Everything is so cute though. This is especially cute because it's a Lalafell house. Look at this. Look at this room. I love it. Got their toy box. They've got the triple triad board out. I like what they did here with the stained crystal ornaments. A little white feather bed. Got their carbuncle slippers. Mellow mog lamp. Pile of plushies in the corner. <clears throat> More fish. Got Alpha throwing cards. This is super adorable. It's a triple Lala shower. <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> oh, it looks like they've got the downstairs sh closed off. They do. Um, it, this is probably just, <clears throat> they probably hit their item cap. <coughs> I don't think that they, I, you know, I don't see like, they didn't float stuff from the basement or anything up. I bet it's just empty down there. Because they've used so many partitions and items and stuff to, uh, to do all this. This was really lovely. What a beautiful little Christmas house. Amazing. I love this house. Such great Christmas decor. Sweet. Very nice. Good night for houses so far. 
So let's see. We are at plot four, so we're gonna head on around to plot five, which is a large house. It is the big house up around the corner here. Let's see, where's the entrance to this? Oh, it's down here. That's right. It's got its this plot has its own little like special porch park garden thing, whatever here. That leads up to it. It's a fancy plot. So this is Kefka's Tower. <laughs> the owner is the cult of Kefka. <laughs> This is plot five, and it says, Abandon hope all ye who enter, for this way madness lies. It is a designer home, a sanctum, and it has a message book. All right, so let us take a look. Nice yard. Their chocobo stable is clean. They covered their uh, the outside of their Hingen hot spring with some hedge partitions. This is a nice plot. You know, not only does it have that extra little, you know, bunch of stuff there, you know, sidewalks and stuff, but it also has this nice view of the pit. Whoops. <laughs> Let me back up here. You can just see the, you know, the, the, the big chasm here and the big red rock. You know, after living in Colorado, yeah, the house with the special bridges. After living in Colorado for some years, I have I've come to appreciate rocky landscapes. I went to school there. All right. Super nice. Super nice. Let's go on inside and see what is going on. Oh, they've got mammoths. It's a it's rainbow mammoths like the next door neighbors, but these ones are all in a circle. <laughs> I wonder if they're trying to summon something. I like how they put their fish tank up there. They just used the open partitions to, you know, kind of frame out the fish tank and fill in the gap in that spot. They used the varied wood wall upstairs, mason work wall down here. I'm not sure which floor this is. I think it's just, um, this might be the country floor. Big Tonberry banquet table. There's two of them stuck together to make one big table. With a, with a starlight dodo and some steamed buns. Nice little kitchen. There's their guest book. Got the manor stove. Catfish. Got all of the ovens and there's that sink with no water. Yet another sink with no water. Got out the hard rice cakes and the little sheep for heaven's turn. Let's take a look at their entryway from up here. <laughs> Got the crazy gargoyles by the door and two elephants. I love the doors and the windows um, on the half timbered walls. They're very nice. It's like nice filtered, warm um, colored light. Let's check out over here. Got Ifrit, diamond weapon, ruby weapon. The crazy Bahamut and the the Levin orb. Look at all that gold. And the big lion next to the throne. Triple triad. <laughs> all right, let's go upstairs first. And then we'll go downstairs. What is that from? 
Is there a crystal tower thing there? Oh no, it's the uh, oh it's the crystal tower uh gold saucer machine. The crystal tower striker. It's poking up through the steps. Crafting room. I like the I I really do like the manor floor. The carpet. It's like the only dark colored carpet you can get. There's paper partition for the door here. Library. Nice library. Cozy. I love the rocking chair and the mellow mog lamp. Come up here to review your quests that you had to skip through. Because you had to go to dinner or whatever. <laughs> Cute. Nice. Let's go to the next room. I wonder if they've made a second room over here. Louis Soi. They did make a second room over here. Oh, look. It's a theater. It's a little theater. It's the TV room or whatever. They've used the Eastern stage and a Phasmascape. That looks cute. Looks good. Good idea. All right. So now we can go downstairs. Past the crazy mammoth circle. Hey, Snurd, welcome. And all of Snurd's friends. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. They've got the crazy, the crazy Valentine's chair here in front of the fireplace. How you doing this evening, Snurd? Oh boy, they've still got all their Christmas up down here. Cool. Oh, they even have the starlight wallpaper. I love it. <laughs> doing all right. Your butt. <laughs> 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 oh god. The butt spot's on a roll. Oh, look what they did here. What in the... They took... They flow... Okay, so those are... That's open partitions. So they didn't float it. But they dyed them. Varying colors. It's a little glitchy there. You know, light blue and white. And then just kind of rotated them to make this little corner thing here. Uh, that's creative. Christmas trees up. She'll get you a drink now if you'd like. There's big tankards of ale down here. Cute. Another gold saucer machine. We've got these never melting ice partitions up. You had no idea it was so late. <laughs> Yeah, it's almost nine o'clock here. I'm only going to go for about another hour because um, i got to get up early tomorrow. School is back in session tomorrow. Cuff occur. You can beat up Greg. Punch him right in the face. <laughs> This is such a cute house. They did such a nice job with this. Little sh little seat in the shower in case you know you need to sit down so that you can scrub your feet. It looks a little chilly though, you know? I mean like taking a taking a sh I mean maybe this is one of those places you go to like do the thermal therapy or whatever if you want to lose weight. They'll stick you in an ice cold thing. Like, you know, ice and water. <laughs> nice. And this is a free company house. Let's see if they've got some free company rooms. They do. They have some. Let's see. Sky Haven. The owner is Falcor Balthazar. It says, never give up. And good luck will find you. 
Let's check out his room. He's working on it. It's a work in progress. We'll just go quickly through these rooms unless we come across one that's um, that requires extra attention. Heng's room. The owner is Hen Fengyu. Please take comfort in my humble chamber. It's an RP immersive experience, Far Eastern in a designer home. So let's see what Heng's done in his room. <laughs> Thanks, nerd. Thanks for the raid. Have a good meal. Little floor couch there. Got the Hingen bed stuck underneath here with the wardrobe. This is cute. Got all the amenities. A place to dress up here. Very nice. Very nice little Far Eastern room. It's super mellow. Let's go to the next room. Private room four is owned by Sardine Thief. You gotta be desperate to be a Sardine Thief. <laughs> and they haven't decorated it yet. Let's check out the next room. <laughs> Let's see. Yellow! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Okay. I have a feeling I know what we're going to find in this room. It's Crintia Sa Diablo's room and the greeting is it's crazy and it's a designer home. Let's take bets. Do you think it's chocobos or is it is it is it serpents? It's one of the two. Let's see which it is. Oh my gosh. It's neither. Oh, nope. It's chocobos. There's the yellow wallpaper. Chocobo wallpaper. Chocobo table. It's super cute, though. That table. I like that. I think I think that's from PvP. Oh, gosh. You got to walk through the morble's mouth to get to the back part of the, the apartment. Little fox on the desk. All right. In we go. Into the mouth of the beast. Tonberry bed. Tonberry lamp. The shower. I guess, you know, if you're... <laughs> if your shower... You know, if your floor is actually grass and flowers, I, you know, you can just let the shower run, like, all day. And, you know, no big deal. You know, well, you know, maybe, maybe get really muddy, but you know, if it's by the window, it'll just keep growing. <laughs> Cute. All right. Let's see. Next. This is Reinhardt's Bordello. The owner is Reinhardt Ulfer. Let's go check out Reinhardt's Bordello. He's got the, the Hildebrand music playing in here. Let's see. Oh, look. It's Merlewib. Right at the entrance. She'll sign you in now. Uh, someone likes Hildebrand. <laughs> I like Hildebrand. I mean, really. Let's check out what's behind door number one. It's just a bed, a bed and a table and candles and a suspicious looking hand towel. Okay, so that was door number one. Let's see what's behind door number two. Another, oh God, another room. This one with a bed made for three and another hand towel on the wall. Oh God. Oh my, oh my dear. All right, 
So wait, have we been in all of the doors? Have we been behind door three? Oh no, this is the third room. Also has a hand towel on the wall. All right, we're out. Let's get out of here. <laughs> the next room is Home Sweet Home, owned by Staria Balthazar. Um, and it just says, come on in. All right, let's go check out Staria's room. Whoops. This looks like a nice room. Check it out. They put two of these sylph tables together to make one big table. A little bunny and nice food on it. Look at that giant fish. There's a giant goldfish. Now, this sylph cabinet, you can make a really cool window out of that if you sink it up to the the to the metal on a window. Yep. You have those nice little metal things for the frame. This is very nice. Nice use of the Glade furniture. Manor bookshelf. Giant bunk bed or a canopy bed. It's huge. Bathtub. Nice apartment. Or free company room. Nice little free company room. Same size as an apartment. Basically the same thing. All right. So let's see. This is Starry Balthazar's room. So... Private room 10 is owned by Twyla Dragon. Let's see if they've decorated it. There's no greeting. They have decorated. They've got this pink. I love the little pink striped wallpaper. I'm not sure which one that is. I like it. I'm going to have to use that. I like that wallpaper. Crazy arm and sh counter sh and shelf there. At the bottom of the bed. Some Christmas decor up. It's an open floor plan here. All right, next. So we are in Twyla's room. This is stylish and warm. The owner is Surreal Sadie. And it says, oh yeah, owned it. <laughs> Well, let's go see what Surreal Sadie has done in their room. Looks pretty nice. It's just a little open floor plan room. Desk. Crazy wallpaper. Big canopy bed. Bathtub. Angelfish. <laughs> Owned it. <laughs> the butt spot. Yes. Butt spot. Yes. <laughs> oh, I should put my emote wall back on. I forgot it got turned off. And I changed my, my thing. Okay, so let's see here. Room 13 is owned by Zod the Immortal. There is no greeting. Let's check out what Zod the Immortal has done. Huh? Zod does not require a greeting? No. Harsha front right at the entryway there. And oh my goodness, look what they did. <laughs> We've got these uh, display stands in each corner of this tub. And each one has its own tonberry. Don't get out of the tub. Tonberry lamp on either side. There's Tonberry lamps all over. Tonberry's by the door. Tonberry rug. Tonberry couch. Whoa. This room is just... This is the throne room. This is where you store all the money. Let's check out the other side. I think there's a door over here too. Yep. Door on this side as well. Oh, this must be where they sleep. <laughs> Zod the Immortal. <laughs> it's Zod's bed. It's a coffin. 
<laughs> All right. Next. So we are in Zod's room. Private Chambers 14 is owned by Madeline Small. It's an emporium and a boutique. There is no greeting. Let's go check it out. Well, it's a work in progress. They've just got some strange stuff going on here. Another... It's another... There's a lot of vampires in this free company. <laughs> All right. Next. Uncle David owns this room. If it's anything like my Uncle David's stuff it'll there'll be some really strange things in this room this is nothing like my uncle david's house <laughs> it's very pink i love the spotted wallpaper let's see what's next There's still some rooms here. Oshali's room. And it is under construction. Renovation, renovated started during COVID-19. So let's see if they've managed to renovate their room yet. They're working on it. Not done. I like this little room here. Look, there's just a chair and the Sultana's seven. It's like a little chapel, a little private chapel to come in and pray. They've got some lofts put up. It's a work in progress. Let's go to the next room. Leon's bedchamber. Leonhart Cloud Runner is the owner, and it says clothing optional. I'm okay since it's an option. I'm keeping mine on. Whoops. Let's see, here we are. He's got you know. It's not just a bedchamber. I mean, there's a tub. There's a table. He's got some bread and or no it's just ham and sausages it can't be healthy to eat just ham and sausages and the big bed and hildebrand and nashua to watch over things just in case things go sideways let's see what's next Oh, I need to, I need to empty the, <clears throat> clear the web captioners transcript. It's starting to overflow the buffer. All right, there we go. Better. Let's see. So we are in Leonard Cloud Runner's room. The next room is Private 21, owner is Spider Gracia, Gracia, I'm not sure. How that's pronounced but here we are they've got the serpent floor and walls which are you know they're they're pretty um they're really bright it's a really bright yellow it's a lot of yellow you know what let me exit my oh whoa that looks better I had my blue light filter on. I didn't realize it was on. I don't know if it. I don't know if it affects um, my video or not. It may not. It affects what I see. It makes it quite dark. <laughs> this is much brighter now. Oh my god, that yellow is so bright. Elder seed seer, glade tub, cute. All right, let's see. Where are we? Next. 
So we are, there's only a few more rooms to visit. This is shut in healer. Free entices room. Damn stalker, you better pay me rent and feed me once in a while, please. <laughs> This is a shut-in healer. Let's see. Bed. Tub. Just a cute little room. Let's move on. Let's see. So we are here. This is, I don't even, I can't do it. Pataj Rajuta. I'm not sure. Welcome to my home. Come in and make yourself at home. Friends are always welcome. So let's go check out their room. Since friends are always welcome. Cool. Oh. What happened to Harshafront? They've got him glitching out. Everyone is, you know, everyone's lacking more, enough bookshelves for all the books. Nice room. It's just a nice, nice little bedroom. Let's go to the next apartment or whatever. Free company room. Let's see, where are we? We are here. Private Chambers 25 is owned by Mylena Fane. We'll go check out Mylena Fane's room. Oops. They've got a start on it. It's a work in progress. We're almost done in this house. Let's see. Private Chambers 26 is owned by Janelle Sa Diablo. Whoops. Let's see. Wait, have we been in here already? Oh, wait. No, I, didn't, I guess we haven't. It looks very similar to one of the other rooms. Palace of the Dead walls and floor. Let's see what's next. Up, oh, last room. Private Chambers 30 is owned by Steebu D. Wilson. No greeting. Let's see if Steebu's decorated their room. They've started. Not much done. All right. Well, that's all of the rooms in this house. So we will move on to the next house. Nice house though. Very nice house. Let's go sign their guest book. A word from the owner. Welcome to the Tower of Kefka, home of the cult of Kefka. We hope you enjoy your visit and stay out of the horror in the basement. <laughs> love the house the basement was far less horrifying than expected all right <laughs> some of the greetings all hail kefka i like the shiny tree outside and the big kitchen inside I went to the basement. They said, stay out of the basement. I did not heed the warning. This is the seventh night I've been stuck here. I yearn for release. <laughs> I don't know. We got out just fine. All right. So we're moving on to the next house. We'll go look at a few more houses and before we call it a night. So that I can get to bed earlier tonight. I didn't sleep very well last night. So I must get more sleep tonight. Let's see. So we are... We are at plot five. So we are going to... Let's see. Where are six? Six is down the way there. I'm just going to like 
run on down here and let's see. So six is this big house right here. Here we are at plot six. Let's find their placard. Here it is. This is TG's Bar and Grill. The owner is too, too good. <laughs> too good. <laughs> it's a concert hall, a tavern, and a designer home. So let's go take a look at this house. Whoops. Going a little too fast there. Slow your roll. Nice retainers dressed up in the yard. Got their deck floated up here and look down on the brimming heart. Look how pretty that looks down there. Very nice. Let's go on inside and see what's happening inside their house. Whoa, I'm like inside of something as soon as I come in the door back up <laughs> why did it put me in so far into the door anyways that looks cool the Allegan node there there's their guest book let's check in here before we go downstairs check out this part of the house first cool It's very dark, lots of particle effects going on. Pretty. Little alcove bed with some stained crystal ornaments in the back and mellow mog lamps. Moogle couch. Let's check out the other side over here. It's a nice little office space. Lily lamps on the wall. Very nice. This looks real nice so far. Let's go on upstairs first. Check out their upstairs. Mellow mog lamps stuck in the dome and dogwoods and bamboos. Okay, so there's lots of doors up here. Let's see. Let's go over here first. How do we get... Oh, I guess you go over this way. Yeah, there you go. Little sitting area with three fireplaces. They used uh, these um, oasis pillars in between the fireplaces to kind of fill in the gap, which looks good. Let's see, that is not a door. This is a door. Yeah. It's very cozy and, you know, I guess it actually gets chilly in the desert at night. So, makes sense, I guess. This looks cool. Nice bathhouse. Look at these are Hingen sideboards and Hingen benches. Just the flowers from the vendor in, um, New, Gr in New Gradania. Dragon lamps. I think, you know, they'd had to float those dragon lamps up because those are floor items. What a... Well, floating. Gotta float stuff. Because you can't just put it up there. All right, let's see. So that's the, that's the upstairs. We'll head on downstairs. This is very cool. Wait, do they even have their downstairs open? They may not. I think it might be closed off. Yep, downstairs is not open. I mean, we can go down, but it's probably just empty. Oh, come on, let me through. Let me through. Let me through, let me through. It's not letting me through. Where's a crack? Sometimes it works better if you push on a crack. 
There it is. Nope. You have to push in the exact same place for like five seconds and, and it'll let you go through. You can go from here. There we go. Oh, look, what in the heck? I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad I decided to shove my way through their wall. What is going on here? This isn't suspicious at all, is it? Oh my God, look. What the hell? Nothing creepy about this. Nothing. No. What in the... What are they doing? <laughs> Dear God. Oh, look. And you can get drunk while you're here. I like their bar. Look at this. They use like the potion racks inside of a fish tank. Um, uh, oh, maybe it's not booze. This is actually... I don't know if I would drink anything at this bar. Those aren't... That's not booze. That's potions. This could be very dangerous. <laughs> oh my. Oh no, look! Look what's in the cage, Monty. We've got to save them. <laughs> run, run, come on. I'm going to push. Just push. All you have to Listen, all you have to do is push on the wall for 5 seconds and you can get through, I promise. Just do it. <laughs> You'll save them after the stream. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, are, what what are they going to do with them? Oh my gosh. Oh dear. <laughs> All right. Onward we go. Let's go sign the guest book and ask questions. Greetings, friends, with lots of exclamation points. Mm-hmm. Nice house. Uh, I have questions about the events I witnessed in the downstairs I was not supposed to see. <laughs> Let's see here. I need to make this smaller. <laughs> you just never know. You never know what you're going to find. I swear. You know, sometimes it's just a really beautiful house and sometimes it's something you wish you'd never seen that you can't unsee. All right, off we go. <laughs> You're scared you'll need to bring a friend. I know, really, don't go in there alone. Take a Rogadin with you. All right, so we are at plot six. We're going to go next door to plot seven. And I think it's up here. Yeah, this is plot seven right here. Here we are. This is Kefka's Pub and Tavern. <laughs> Kefka's Pub and Tavern. Owned by Surreal Sadie, whose um, room we looked at in the big the big free company house um, next door. <laughs> it says, come for the bar fights. Stay because you've passed out. Communal bath, semi-private rooms with showers, tavern, and an eatery. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look around the yard. 
I mean, they have a very nice yard. They have this beautiful walls, the cafe walls with the, I love this so much. I love this outside. I love the, all the food outside and the tables with tablecloths. Oh my gosh. I would like a tablecloth. I think that's why I like those tables so much. The ones that you put in your kitchen and the one that I, I have in my house because they have tablecloths on them. Let's see here. Well, this looks nice. Nice cafe. Whoops. Little Lala lady. She doesn't appear to be in any danger. She's all right. This guy over here is very busy cooking this meat. Pleasant little cafe. Let's go on downstairs. I bet there's no lollafells in cages down here. There's the guest book. She'll need an escort. Yeah, really, she shouldn't go. You know, I wonder if they're missing any of their employees. She'll definitely need an escort leaving work. Toilet. <laughs> Christmas tree. Semi-private rooms with showers. It's an open floor plan. Cute. Nice little cafe. A word from the owner. The cult of Kefka is not responsible for any lost or stolen items, nor any injuries obtained during bar fights. <laughs> One of the messages says, overpriced food, hot maids will come again. <laughs> Surprisingly few bar fights happened during my visit. Love the concept. Nice work. <laughs> nice. Good job, Surreal Sadie. Let's go on to the next house. Wait, where are we? Where's the door out? There it is. All right, let's go to a few more houses here. So we are, whoops. We are at plot seven and we are going to go to plot eight over here. I think this is plot eight here. <laughs> oh gosh. These Kefka folks, they own a lot of the plots here in this little area. It's like their neighborhood. This is Kefka's, or Kefka's rectory. The owner is Uncle David. <laughs> Welcome to Kefka Corner, a small community. <laughs> I've discovered that this is, this is totally, this is Kefka Corner here. They own this whole corner. It's uh, forge walls. I believe this is a, is this a small plot or is this a medium plot? I'm not sure. We'll find out. I think this might be a medium. No, no, this is a small. This is small. Yeah, back in the day, it was easy to get houses. I got my house like six years ago. Um, and there were lots of plots available. I My first house was in the goblet and there were lots of goblet plots available at the time and I bought it <clears throat> and then I was able to move to um, 
to miss when you know you were allowed to like if a plot became available you could move um if you already had a house you could just like relocate and it was easy to do they've changed it so that that's not possible now oh no this is a medium this is a medium plot this is the rectory yep i know yep and now there's nothing there's just nothing nice it's the bedroom upstairs it's like you know this is like where the the monks of kefka <laughs> where they all sleep all in one big room no privacy in this place cult members <laughs> they don't need privacy right i guess this is where they practice sparring for their fights at the at the uh the bar for bar fights shower yep <laughs> This might still be a work in progress. I did not see a guest book. Nope. No guest book in this house. That's okay. We've signed more than one Kefka guest book already. Okay, so this is plot eight and plot nine is not open to the public. I wonder if it's also owned by kefka people plot nine or if it's not and they've just like locked their doors because maybe they're lalafels who are afraid of what might happen if they left their house open i think that this is it let's see 75th free company yeah this is not a that's not a kefka owned home all right, so let's see here. We are going to 10, which is right around the corner here. Here we are. This is the squad's estate. The owner is Arcades Sabath. And it says, hello and enjoy your stay. It says it's under renovation, so we will keep that in mind. You have the little bird bath, which is so cute. There's not a whole lot going on in their yard. It may not be, um, they may not have decorated very much. This all might be under renovation. So we'll just take a peek. Yeah, it's a work in progress, I think. Let's take a look downstairs. Just, to, you know, they're just going to spend that money to decorate their house. All right. Let's go to the next house. Move on to plot 11. We can do a couple more. So this is plot 10 and 11 is not open to the public, but 12 is. So this is plot 12 and their entrance is right here. This is the Ragnar estate. The owner is Kenzo Ragnar. Welcome all weary. I can't talk. Welcome all weary travelers. It is visitors welcome. They have a message book and it's an immersive experience. So let's take a look at their yard first. Put up some willow trees and a pond, some dandelions and a deck, cherry tree. They've got two decks. They've got this oriental deck down here, too. All right, let's go on inside and see what's happening inside the house. Ah, 
Oh, goodness. I'm getting sleepy. That's a good sign. <laughs> I need to sleep tonight. This looks pretty nice. I like that blue. They've made nice color choices here. Smoking and eating cookies by the fire. That looks cool. Little indoor garden. Little slat, wood slat partitions. There's their guest book. I like their color choices. This looks nice. Let's go upstairs first. Oh yeah, look at their entryway. Pretty. They've used blank partitions with, um, I think this is the house four temps, uh, wall, interior wall. There's the free company chest. There's a step up here and then a step down. I guess that the minimum height on this bed is not very high. You don't have to float it very high for it to stay up. I like that. We've got a little folded futon there as an extra bed in case company comes over. Hey, Schnapples, welcome to the channel. Welcome. Glad to have you here. Thanks for the follow. I like the colors. I love this. I love this. The, you know, the blue downstairs and the red up here. Oh, look at this. This looks nice. Oh, hey, welcome. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you saw the message and that you're here. We're just touring your neighbor's houses now. So if you don't know your neighbors very well, you'll get to know a lot more about them because you'll get to see all of their dirty secrets. And they hide, you know, things in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> I love this little artist loft. That looks cool. So none of those are, those are all just tabletop items. So you can, I, and they put it in front of the window like that. That's perfect. That's perfect. Nice, nice little arrangement there. Oh, it could be schnapples. You don't happen to have a cult with dolls and guys in red in your basement, do you? Okay, from the 29th. Oh, no. Good. <laughs> You'll have to check the earlier parts of the VOD. We, we found some things in your in the neighborhood here. <laughs> this is really nice, the, the way they did their bedroom or their bathroom. I would not have thought to dye that sink bright red, but, you know, it works. This all looks really nice. So let's go to their downstairs. Let's check out the downstairs part of the house. Oh, they put a dolmel. Oh my gosh, look. Oh. What the heck is going on there? <laughs> I like the wood floor. And I like the blue down here. This looks nice. I like their red and blue color schemes. These look nice. Very good. Oh, look, we've used the wooden steps and an open partition here and to step up and in to the kitchen area. And that is a verdant shelf partition that has been made less weird with partitions, with other partitions sunk into it. I like that. That looks good. It's just a bamboo surrounded with a, with half partitions. Nice. Little kitchen island made from a desk and um, hanging sideboards. Tonberry couch in the corner. This is a nice house. I like it. I 
I still don't understand this, though. Why? I mean, I'm sure that they have a reason. There's probably some kind of there's probably some kind of inside joke that I don't know that that has something to do with this dommel in the corner of the stairs. Did I see a guest book here? I don't think I did. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay, it's over here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Love the color choices. Curious about that dolmol. Stairway. <laughs> I'm curious about that dolmol in the stairway. Maybe they'll come and tell us why it's there. <laughs> Very nice. Super nice house, though. I love those the the red and the blue they use. This is really pretty. Very pretty. All right. Let's go. We can do two more houses. We'll do two more houses. So we are at plot 12. So we'll do 13 and 14 and then that'll be it for the night. We've made it through almost half of the houses. Okay. Oops. So let's see. So 13 is the big house down the way here. I believe we can go. Yes, right here. All right. So this is plot 13. Oh, wait. How did I end up clicking the retainer all the way over there? <laughs> this is Casterly Rock. The owner is the LeBanc, LeBlanc Syndicate. It is a free company. And it says a bro man always pays his debts. So let's check out their yard. Got the wave soul fount. Cold hearth fireplace. Got some of them cool torches. Got a little chocobo in the Abigail barding. So cute. All right. Let's check out this house. It's a nice big house. It looks like it is a work in progress. They've got a few things here. Um, there's a lot of empty space. So they may still just be working on this. Bedrooms. There's an awful lot of dodos. Look at all these dodos. They must have been expecting a lot of company for Christmas and then, you know, Omicron and everyone decided not to come. And so now they have to eat all this dodo themselves. Let's go downstairs first since we're right here. Downstairs is mostly empty. They're working on it. They've got their their little pice of dolls out. Okay, I'm curious though. Why is this? What's going on? <laughs> what's behind the curtain at the end of the room? There's a there's a stool and nothing. I don't know. I'm not sure why they've got that there. I'm sure there's a story behind it that I don't know. Let's go on upstairs. Let's see if they've decorated upstairs. Oh, wait, did we look over here? We did. That's bedrooms. 
Let's go up to the right first. Got some gargoyles and some furniture up here. This house is a, a work in progress. These big houses, they take a lot of items. It takes a lot to fill this space. It's it's much bigger than you think it is. <laughs> I've decorated one of these once and it just, it took forever. It took forever. Let's see. We've been downstairs. Okay, so we've seen the whole house. I don't know. Let's see if they have company rooms i don't have a whole lot more time oh they only have a few we'll go ahead and look private room one is owned by kruger faust let's see if he's decorated his room yeah they've started they've started decorating they're like these folks are probably like we've got so much house to decorate that maybe they haven't decorated their rooms Second room is owned by Chris Evans. Oh, and he's got up the Christmas wallpaper and a few things. Just a few things. Let's check out the next room. This is Unfathom Suite. The owner is Thunderlord Unfathom. And it says, welcome to the sexiest time of your life. GG. <laughs> We'll see. I have had sexier times than this. All right, let's go to the next room. Private Chambers 4 is owned by Last Flowers. Let's see if Last Flowers has decorated. I would bet, you know, if I had a big house like this, I wouldn't have my, my little room decorated if the whole house wasn't decorated, but they've started. They've just done some simple decorating in their room. They just made it, you know, a little kind of a warm and accommodating place to, to hang out. All right. Leave the private chambers. Okay, we can go to one more house. So we're going to go to one more house and then that will be the end of the stream for the night. So I can get myself ready for bed to get up really early tomorrow. So we are at plot 13. We're just going to, you know, we're just going to like go over here and see if we can hop the fence down to, oh, we can't, we can't hop the fence. It's one of those ones. It's like down through the giant. Um, I might be able to hop down here though. Yes. I don't know if I can hop this. Nope. I got to go down. Got to go down. Can't jump there either can here all right if 14 is not decorated we'll go to 15 and then but if this one is then that's it this is Aldmeyer. the owner is the halcon and it just says whoa whoa <laughs> whoa they've just got some trees in their yard this house may or may not be decorated we'll see It is not, there's, oh, whoa, hello. Uh, this is the person that owns the house. They're just hanging out. They're busy, they're busy leveling up Sage and their house isn't decorated. Cause, cause they're busy. Maybe they just moved in here. Hey, someone put something in my message book. I'll give them a bow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It happens occasionally you run into people they were afk okay so we'll go to 15 since this house wasn't really decorated we'll go to the next plot and then that'll be it so up this way and this house may not be decorated either there's nothing going on in the yard 
except a garden. This is War Beast Sanctuary. The owner is War Beast, and it's a free company. It's under renovation. Well, if it's under renovation, then still, then this has to be it for the night, unfortunately. It's a work in progress. They've gotten the mazu. They'll be done in no time. The catfish will help. Oh, yep, they've just got, you know, the book of directions. That's the book of directions on how to put together all of the IKEA furniture that they've, they've, they've got. So, you know, and they've got their crew of catfish to put it together. <clears throat> we'll have to do a revisit. All right, so let's see which house it is that I wonder if it, I don't know which house the, the message book entry was in. We'll find it. Let's go find who left message in my message book oh it's this one it's my private house let's see what it says thanks for visiting my apartment i like what you did with the basement giving me ideas for my house oh griari nitor oh okay cool yep so if you haven't been in my house this is my little house in mist in plot 11 which isn't bad. I'm like right next to the Admiral's Water Spire and have a pretty decent view of the beach. I have to get a shorter fence though because whoops, because I'm a short person and it's hard to see over the fence. <laughs> yeah, this is the coffee house. This is my coffee house, the Art Emporium. Coffee and painting, what could be better? <laughs> I'll have to take down the Christmas decor soon. A couple more days. I'll leave it up for a couple more days and then uh, I'll get to redo. Oh, the sun is coming up. Perfect. Perfect timing. I love these little, um, if you haven't seen them yet, the little candlelit sundries. And I use those in the placemats on the table. I made some fluffy pancakes. The loft floor. Yeah, this one here, this is uh this is where you come to do your painting. You know, it's like, you know, one of the, it's like the wine and painting cafes except, you know, more caffeinated painting instead of drunken painting. And none of these items needed to be floated. Those little, those little um, wooden reel tables, those are tabletop items. You can stack them one on top of another if you want to. You can like stack them up and use them in a corner to make a shelf. They're pretty cool. Yes, I think coffee leads to better painting than, than booze. There's a guppy that I caught the other day. I spent hours catching, trying to catch guppies. <laughs> Marsha front. It's a little, a little door to the porch where you can sit on the moldy chair that's covered with fungus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I stuck that. You know, this is the um, this is one of the new items that they just put in. Um, this is the the alchemist desk and or the apothecary's desk. Apothecary's desk. And it's just a nice little corner desk, you know. You don't have to stick two items together to make a corner desk. It's one. And so I just stuck the level checker in it. I figured that would be, you know, it's like an, I I sat my girl here at the thing. And, and then I sit here at my chair at my desk and look at myself sitting at my desk and feel very meta. <laughs> and the wood stove made from... Um, Industrial wall pipes and a fish tank and some wall torches. And those are the little niche partitions that they just put in. And I did a couple different things here. Like, you know, I stuck the Phasmascape behind it. And I just put these windows on the sides to give it kind of like this effect. Like there's glass going on there. You know, there's like the window reflection. And then on this side, I just sunk the windows in the other side. And I did the same thing with the 
phasmoscape in the windows on this side and you get different effects from light when the windows are on different sides of the house um, but it's upsetting because if you look they don't match the other marble partitions oh you have you seen my apartment monty this is just the bedroom i made the wood blinds those are a new item too they're really nice little bathroom phasmascapes are awesome for making window effects and so okay i'll i'll show you my apartment and i'll show you what i did with the phasmascape in our uh, free company house as well so my apartment is shiragani All right, so my apartment, I did a loft style apartment, but you know, or it's like a flat. Um, and it's, I did not float a single item to make this apartment. Nothing was floated. Oops, I want to go to my own, my apartment. Um, no floating. The only glitching that I used here was um, the, the counter placement glitch and the place from storage glitch. So this is, um, there's a phasmoscape there in the kitchen. And then there's a phasmoscape there. That's a Hingen bookshelf. Um, oh, butts, bot, geez. <laughs> so it's a Hingen bookshelf and a, a display case, you know, to give it glass. And that's the Ruby C phasmoscape sunk you know, it's like back there. Yeah. And then these are just hanging sideboards and wood steps. And that is the Araman vase. And I stuck it in a honey jar because you can dye the honey jar any color you want. And I just dyed it to match um, the flooring. You know, I use like shale brown dye on this. And this is vanilla yellow dye on those parts. And, you know, another Ruby C Phasmascape over there. So it's like a little sunset um, flat. And then I made this with the bar counter and, um, you know, the white half partition and bar stools. Oh, this is actually an open partition. That's an open partition. Yeah, this came out... This is probably one of the nicest things I've ever decorated. I was really pleased. <laughs> I spent, you know, like 10 hours on a day to get this. Um, and I made these little pendant lights and they're really cool. In the kitchen, this is the um, the rustic chocobo counter to make this part. And, and that's what that part there is too. And just the southern kitchen. And... An empty udon soup bowl with the um, with the wall thing for uh, water. So, and then I've got you know another wood stove <laughs> heater, whatever. Then there's a little bedroom over here. Just a little bedroom and little sitting area over here. And I opened up the ceiling here. I closed it down in the rest of it. But opened it up over there because I thought the living room would, um, you know, in a little industrial city apartment might have a higher ceiling, you know. And just uh, the wood blinds. The wood blinds really make a difference. They really um, finish the look of the windows, you know. Um, I like them. I really like them. Just the South Seas furniture and a little... Fringed rug. Um, and then here's the bathroom. It's just, you know, simple bathroom. Nothing fancy. It's all very minimalist. But it's this is a really nice little apartment. Yeah, I was really happy with this. I was really happy with how this came out. I'm going to leave it this way for a while. <laughs> so that's what I did with Phasmascapes here. I used them to make a sunset apartment. And, and then I'll take you to the free company house, our free company house. 
Um, my husband decorated most of the free company house. I decorated some parts of it. I decorated the downstairs. So this is our free company house. This is also in mist. So it's a library. Um, and so my husband did most of this. He did most of this floor. And I did these two little areas over here on this side of the room. In a little little corner reading nook with the windows. And uh, I'll show you the downstairs. It's children's library downstairs. So just got this little loft here where you can get a snack and some coffee. And then this is the children's part of the library downstairs. You know, with a little stool to get up on the books, to get the books. There's a place for story time. Little toys in a shelf. And I made this, this is the music room. <clears throat> where you can come and watch the chamber orchestra. Oh, I can craft them for you if you want some. Let Just let me know. I'd be happy to make them for you. Can you gather ironwood lumber or, or gather just ironwood logs? If not, I can get you some. I'd be happy to make you a few. <clears throat> it's not a big deal. They're not that expensive to craft. <clears throat> so I made <clears throat> three of the... <clears throat> oh, goodness. I need to take an allergy pill. <clears throat> so three of the oriental indoor waterfalls and just... You know, those are display cases and stage panels dyed black, wood slat partitions. These are the rectangular partitions below. And I stuck the Queen's Rest item from Bosja behind it there. You know, and it just kind of shows through the, the partition. I thought that was kind of cool. And little carbuncle lanterns on the shelves of those display cabinets. And a wood beam across the top. And then, you know, we've got our conductor. Cat girls. Cat girls only. <laughs> Fish tank and stuff. Um, so, and the upstairs is more library. It's more library upstairs. Just some nice little... You know, each like little area has got a kind of a theme going on. That's just a little sitting area and then it's all books. So the thing that I did with Phasmoscapes the other thing I did was in um, my alt free company room. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll make you a couple wood shutters. Hit me up in game tomorrow afternoon sometime. Let's see here. Uh, I'll go to the specified private chambers. So this is my alt Katniss Evergreen. <laughs> and this is the room that I did for her and it's just like a little winter bedroom um, it's got you know there's like a little entryway here but I used the Phasmoscape this is the Aurora Phasmoscape to make a little winter scene window sure go ahead you can send me a friend request that's fine so that's a Phasmoscape behind um, an arch and uh, I also used a display case in there for glass. So that's another idea for a Phasmoscape. Just make a little window out into the snow. <laughs> you know, and I realize I'm in mist and that doesn't, is not what it looks like in mist. But, you know, I was just trying to make a little cozy, cozy fireplace bedroom thing. And then there's my other room cool let's see here um i'll go to my private chambers i did a, a department store santa 
for the holidays in my in my private room. So it's like a little cafe and you know there's the Santa display and the the Lalafell elves who will um tell you when it's your turn to visit Santa. And I'm going to leave this up for a few more days and then it has to come down. But that's the Saint of Nymea up there. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, what a fun stream tonight. We had a lot of fun, a lot of cool things. Um, we saw a lot of really neat houses, a lot of cool apartments and free company rooms. We found some strange things in people's basements. <laughs> I really appreciate everyone being here. If you're new in the channel and you have not followed, if you had fun, go ahead and hit that follow button and join us again. Um, I'm going to put up uh, an announcement about Saturday morning. I will be streaming um, art. We're going to be working with Vroid Studio. Um, I'm working on making um, virtual avatars like, like my avatar. I'll show you how to, you know, do the basics. I'll show you how to change clothes, um, edit your eye textures and things like that. And uh, yeah, so um, I will put up an announcement about that uh, later, probably tomorrow sometime. Anyways, I want to thank you all for coming. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed it. I had a good time and I will see you the next time. And, uh, and have a great night. Take care of yourselves. Get some rest. I'm actually going to raid someone's channel too. It'll just take a moment. So hang in there for a few minutes. We'll give some, another producer, um, some support. Let's see whose channel should we raid? Let's see. I wonder if Drex is on. No, he's not. Um, Coco. We'll go to Coco Confessions. She's playing Final Fantasy VIII. She also does a lot of good work. Oh my god, everyone's 